Ready? Yeah. All right. We got a 3406B. We just put marine nozzles in it. Replace the lines, fuel lines, in, in and out. Tightened everything down. Getting about 45 pounds of boost. Had it fixed at Cat, and they left one of the lines off, <laughs> which is great. Finger tightened, which was losing pressure. I'm going to show you how to, well, we're not actually turning it up. To turn it up, you do the opposite of what I'm doing right now. What we're trying to do is turn it down, because we got too much fuel. So you got the back of the... That's your injection pump. On the back, bottom. Ah, let's see if you can see it. Let's, on the very back, bottom. Right there. Uh, where is it? Let's catch it. No. There. See my socket? I got, there's two pins in there. Two. Grace. Two hex nuts. You gotta loosen it with three ace and then screw it in with a, a hex. That's, I believe that's like a 730 seconds or something like that. But here's what we do. And this is there's there's two of them side by side. So what we do, what I do is take take your socket there hold this <laughs> yeah put a zip tie around it <coughs> all right now you got your zip tie around your socket so you can pull the socket snug and you take your your allen key shove it down the end there Get into that, find that, it's a pain in the ass, honestly, but, you want to find that opening on the end of the screw, once you do, once your Allen key is in there, you'll have tension on it because you're pulling on it with the zip tie. Zip tie. Yeah. So you just gotta find your, your sweet spot right there. This inner one is a best. The outer one ain't no problem. The inner one, that's the problem. Us. And there we go. See, I got it. So we're going to turn it in half, one, half, two. Half, three, half, four, half, five, half, six. Okay, so I got six turns now. That's both of them, I already did the other one. Now we take our our ratchet. We pretty much got it all snugged up already with the zip tie. So we just snug it down. Don't don't over torque that motherfucker because that's the 
break that damn screw. Alright. I'm gonna put the cover back on. That's two seven sixteenths. We had it turned all the way out. Actually, we had the damn screws out of it. That's Before we got the new nozzles, yeah. Yeah, she's smoking like a motherfucker. She's blowing black smoke all over the place. You follow her like a freight train. But we did not know one of the nozzles wouldn't even connect in either, so. Yeah, not until I got in there and replaced them damn nozzles. That's I'm gonna try and what the hell seems to be the problem there. Right? There we go. Alright, now we got our 7 sixteenths. We're gonna put this cap back on. We'll start her up. Anyway, that's the way that's the way that I'd do it is use a a, a a cable tie around the socket to give it tension. That way you know that your Allen key is in the right spot and it'll it'll help you, you know work your screws. Snug this now. That's six turns. We've we've been pushing a lot of fuel. I don't know. Now there's not many videos on this. I believe there's like one other that shows how to turn it up. If you want to turn it up. Go turn the screws out. Turn the screws out. So here we go. That's all done. Takes about ten minutes. Just a little puff of black smoke, not too much. Yeah. And we're done. We'll yeah. see how it runs tomorrow. Yes. You can only run it. You can only test it by running it. So we'll see how she does. Okay.